We're going to show you how to install the surfboard slash board rack on the side of the camper. Uh, Four Wheel Campers is now offering board racks for the side of your topper or your slide-in camper or your flatbed. So her surfboards, stand-up paddle boards. So we'll show you how to install it, put it together, put it on the jack brackets and hook up a board to it. It's going to come, if you order this from the factory and you're not here so they can install it for you, it's going to come in a box, two pieces, front rack and rear rack. To put it together, what you're going to do is just move this strap out of the way. And this rear piece will typically come loose and undo these just a little ways. And you can slide your L bracket all the way to the rear. It takes a little bit of wiggling because the bolts are inside of that channel. Once you get it towards the rear, you can tighten this last bracket down. We usually go right to the end. Tighten that down, just snug it down for now. This piece, the V, is gonna go in line with the strap. So you have a bolt here that will slide in there and the second bolt, put in the top, undo the nut, and slide that into the hole right there. It'll go on the bottom nut as well. Just takes a second to get it lined up. So what's happening is this nut right here, the top of the bolt, is sliding on the inside of this channel and locking into place. On the L bracket here, we have these to keep it tight and you can adjust it. These lower ones, we use a nylock nut, self-locking nut. Tighten that down. From there, you have the plate that attaches to the camper itself. So you can move this up when we walk around the other side of the truck over here. We are going to mount this bracket to this and then this bracket to the, the camper. So you would lay this down and put your bolts in the channel here. On this one you have to slide them from the front to the back. takes a second it's really easy to do just move these down here this plate will go on here just line them up with your fingers you can do it either way for this video I'm going to take those washers off mount that flat on the front of that move this one over here and then I'm going to take those three washers and put them back here Two, three. I'm going to take three nuts. If you're going to leave them on a lot of the time, you can use the nylock or you can buy just a regular nut. Nylock is going to be tighter fit. It's not going to come off. It's not going to rattle loose. I think we have a few of those here. Spin those on. The racks are adjustable up and down. So if you need them lower or higher, you can move these plates around. For this video and in, in general, we usually mount them lower so that they're not sticking above the roof line of the camper. So now this plate is mounted to the rack. This will come up here eventually. We'll show you how to do that later. Uh, so you have your strap, your board holder, your L bracket over here for support. This is already bolted on and tightened down. The L bracket's tightened down, the plate's on here. We'll move around to the corner of the camper and bolt this on for you. Now that you've had that piece assembled, got it out of the box, bolted it together, 
we're going to bolt it to the jack brackets on the camper. You can mount this different ways with the typical way that we do it here at the factory. And I'll show you why in a second. We put the plate on the, the inside for the front jack brackets. Put those bolts through there. When we're doing board rack, we're usually using three bolts through the jack brackets. Make it a little stronger, a little tighter so it's not wobbling. We'll put our three washers, bolt through there, three washers. Tighten these up real quick. I'll get them started with my finger so they won't fall off. Won't scratch the truck that way. Once the bolts are through and the, the nuts are on there, it can't, can't move. Put the third one there. And then from there, I'll just take a wrench and a drill. This is a, you can do it with a socket set. This is a quicker way for the video. We'll put that. So nice and strong. The plate is mounted to the jack bracket. The plate is also mounted to this bar here. Everything's tightened up. Clamps are tight here. Bolts are tight. This is mounted already for you from the factory. We typically do the plate on this side so we can get to the handles on this side to adjust it. So if you want to move this up and down to adjust for a, a big fat surfboard or a smaller surfboard, you can adjust this bar without this plate being in the way. So this plate over here allows you to move this around. The, when we put our board on there, I'll show you, we'll typically twist this over so the board is resting on this bump and not touching the metal. The strap will come over the board and then come down onto the bottom hook here. So you have a little bit of padding and protection for the board. Board sits in here strap holds it on you're ready to go we have the same rack back here we'll show you in a minute on these each board is a different length and different width typically you have really short boards these racks might not fit for you they might be too wide so your board has to be longer than the distance between your two jack brackets but most boards are long enough to fit in there for a snug fit we'll loosen this by hand slide it down so it's behind the board here and then give it a couple turns just to tighten it up so it won't move And then we'll take the strap. So the rubber bumper is behind here, protecting the board. The strap comes over the top and then just go to your next tightest thing. So that's snug boards that's in there, like really good. And then we would do the same thing for the back. Take this knob because the board's shorter, it's tapered. We'll unloosen this, give it a couple twists. Can wiggle it, slide it down, and then we'll flip it over. You can move this to different positions, but our goal is just to keep things tight and snug in here. So the board, this strap covers the board nicely, and we'll pull it into that little bump right there, hook it in there, and then your back is attached as well. So back rack, front rack, two straps, S snug them down. There's a little hook right here that hooks through the hole and you're ready to go. So with the rack, we have a few different adjustment points. When you get the rack, you'll put it together. The L bracket here is adjustable for the height of this lower bar. The rubber stopper up here is adjustable 
up and down for the width of your board. And then if, depending on your board itself, this lower V bracket the, actually holds the board in place here. If you loosen these two nuts, you can move that closer. So with this ins installation, the board is sitting a little crooked and a little far out from the truck. So depending on your board, have this, most people put this at the lowest point, tighten it up. This will adjust accordingly to the board and then they'll move this lower piece, loosen these bolts here, move it over so the board is sitting more flush and flat against the side of the camper for a tighter fit. So outside, quick overview, we have a single board rack available as well as a double board rack. So if you have two boards, back here is the part we just showed you, kind of an, an L bracket here that's holding the board here. The second board rack, if you get a dual rack, you're gonna have an L bracket here. And this bar and that bar are gonna be taller. They're gonna be another two feet taller and you'll have another L bracket here to rest the second board on. So single board rack is our most common, but if you're traveling in groups or multiple boards, we have a double board rack available. It's just taller. So you'll have a, a lower rack here and a secondary rack up here. So little step stool, load it up there, strap it down, put your second board on and you're ready to go.